Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Wanted to take a few minutes and talk about uh, a particular methodology that we use at TradeSite to, uh, to improve our profitability. What I want to talk about today is using the Murray Math Levels on eSignal to uh, reveal key levels of support and resistance and, uh, and, and talk about how to use those to improve your profit, profitability. And if you enjoy the material presented, please take, a, please, please take a free trial and learn a little bit more about the techniques and methodology at TradeSite. You can contact, contact Chris at TradeSite or go onto the website and vis, visit us at www.tradesite.com. The example I'm going to use for, uh, for this presentation is the fossil group, symbol FOSL. Let's, take a, let's do a quick run over and talk about the different Murray Math levels and what they mean. For this presentation we're just going to focus on the, th three, the three most prominent levels. The 8 ace level, the 4 ace level, and the 0 ace level. Effectively what the, what the Murray Math uh, technique does is divide price into octaves. So there's eight parts. The 8 ace, the 4 ace, and the 0 ace are the most prominent. If you just take a look at how price was interacting with these levels, I think that'll, that'll really uh, jump out at you. Here's the, the 8 ace level at 112.50. You can see that we, in this particular case, declined into that area. There was a little bit of trading down below that, but you can see how it was quick, this level was quickly recovered again at 8 ace. Another trip higher, came down to use the 8 ace level, pop, used it again, used it, but lost it here, and then found some support here at the 4 ace levels. So you can see how the 8 ace and the 4 ace level were very, very important here. In this particular setup, there was news out on the stock that was gapping the stock lower in the pre-market trading very, very sharply. The stock was trading the pre-market in the area of about $104, which was, which was right down in this area here where, where my cursor is. So you can see that we were just kind of stuck between the major levels. We obviously were well below the 8 ace level and, and significantly below the uh, 4 ace level. So there was definitely opportunity here to perhaps take a trip down to these lower levels on the Murray Math box. So just e examining the, the chart told us that, number one, we had an energy play because there was news out. We were expecting outstanding volume as the players from the larger time frame were forced into the market to adjust their positions. And then we just had to find a good technical setup to play to uh, profit from this, from this setup. So here's a look at the setup. Here's the, the, the five minute chart. We've just jumped from the daily time frame to zoom down to something that you would use for an entry in money management intraday. As we said before, the, the stock gapped down to, the, to this 104 area and that's where it opened. So what you want to do is you want to let the opening range kind of just, 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 just run its course, get some of the retail orders out of the way. Once the retail orders are out of the way, then we can start to uh, see what kind of character the stock is going to develop based on the follow on orders that are, that are going to come from the institutions that are, that are going to be there all day. Remember, the, the retail rush is generally taken care of fairly early, and then the, the, the follow-on volume is really all about what the institutions need to do to adjust their positions. So what we did was, uh, for subscribers, we, we uh, put, a, put a message via our uh, private Twitter feed that we should, you should consider going short under the first five-minute low at 102.50, that's the lower arrow here. Your stop then would be over the uh, opening range high, which was uh, you know about 104 and a, 104, 104 and a half. Uh, so you just had to give the stock a little little chance to to do what it needs to do, and you can see that the stock actually triggered in about about 15 minutes into the uh, into the session when it took out the 102.50 area. Now we're going to go back to the uh, to the daily time frame just to look at the Murray Math levels one more time. Again, we uh, tried this this 104 and a half area uh, with the stock where they did a little pre-market and it didn't take there. We're now short down here at 102.50, and the next real Murray Math level that comes into play is zero eighths at 100. So that's really going to be what your target is ultimately for this trade on an intraday basis. Uh, keep in mind that as well as being key support and resistance levels like we had just talked about, the, uh, the major Murray math levels, 8 eighths, 4 eighths, and 0 eighths are also price magnets 
kind of like the 200 period moving averages and to a lesser degree the 50, 50 DMA as well. But it's, it's, it's an area of interest on the charts that the institutions are aware of and a lot of times price will just gravitate towards that area. So let's move back to the five minute chart and see how this all played out today. So again here's the five minute chart. Here's our entry under 102.50 when we broke the opening range. Stop is up here about 104 and a half. And the, then the day starts to progress and the uh, and the issue starts to go large, largely sideways here, as you can see. Do make a little lower low, but really, there's just really just back and forth action, and not not a lot not a lot to show for it. But you can see this the the stock is definitely being sold here. Um, this high never violates the stop, so we're still full size in the trade. Starting to sh starting to round off here as as institutions are coming in and starting to pressure the stock down a little bit more as they're exhausting the bids. And now you can see the stock is actually starting to roll over. And starting and starting to head lower, as you can see, we wound up closing exactly at at a hundred dollars to the penny this session. So this just goes to speak of the power of the Murray Math levels and how those key levels can be draws and really and really uh, be important to maximizing your profitability. I know a lot of times that's, that that sounds cliche, but when you use the right techniques and have the right information at your disposal you can really really uh, increase your profitability I'm sure a lot of traders were short it was, and, and they probably just got tired of watching this and probably just closed out the position rather than just giving the stock the time that it needed to to really gravitate and use those Murray math levels and pull down to that 100 level uh, which they certainly did so that was you know two and a half dollars in the trade um, certainly uh, certainly certainly nothing to sneeze at we've had much bigger winners we've uh, certainly had some that didn't work, but uh, that's a very clean trade, good technical action, uh, never put you at risk, never even really interacted with the stop, didn't have to worry about a sweep, and ultimately wound up going to your target that was already right in front of you if you were uh, if you were using your Murray Math level. So, you know, just make sure that you uh, have the, inf the the correct information at your disposal, and make sure you uh, give give the trades the time they need to play out so you can really uh, see what they can do for you. Remember that the, any time you put on a stock position, it's kind of like hiring an employee. You know, that, that employee is yours until you fire it. And uh, just let them, let them see what they can do and keep the good ones and fire the bad ones. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.